Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this interactive star rating animation using Figma. So, without wasting any time, let's dive right in. All right, first things first, let's start by creating our neutral state emoji. Next, we're going to add the animated emojis. For this, we're going to use a plugin. Now, decrease the size of all the emojis except the neutral one and set their opacity to zero. Now let's select all the emojis and convert them into a frame. Perfect. Let's move on to adding some text. Select all the texts and convert them into a frame as well. Make sure you've got the clip content option turned on for this frame. It's important. Next up, let's add the star icon. Create four more duplicates of the star. Now, convert this frame into a component. Add a variant to it.
In this variant, decrease the size of the neutral emoji and set its opacity to zero. Then, increase the size of the cursing emoji and set its opacity to 100. Also change the text to terrible. Now add another variant, repeat the process for the crying emoji and change the text to bad. Continue this process for all the other emojis. All right, now let's add some golden color to the stars. You can easily copy the color style by pressing Ctrl C. Now select a star and paste the color style with Ctrl V. Select two stars here, three stars here, four stars here, and finally five stars. Add the golden color to them. I noticed the space between the emojis and text isn't quite even, so let's fix that first. Later, we'll add a prototype to this component. Now drag the component from the Assets panel and place it on the main frame. Let's add a heading text as well. Also, let's add a submit button. We'll need another screen to show when someone clicks the submit button, so let's create that.
add some text and an emoji to the new screen. Then copy these elements and paste them onto the previous frame using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Set their opacity to zero. Now, let's set up the prototype for this component. For example, if we click on the first star, it'll take us to the one star card. If we click on the second star, it'll take us to the two star card. So when we click on any star, it'll navigate to the respective card. Suppose we click on the first star, and then decide to click on the second star, it'll navigate to the two star card. If we decide to click on the third star, then it'll navigate to the three star card. The logic will apply to all the other stars too. Repeat this process for all other stars and connect them accordingly. Lastly, let's add an interaction to the Submit button. Let's test it out and see how it works. Everything's looking smooth. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and share your thoughts. Your feedback helps me create more valuable content for you. That's it for now, guys.